Well, good morning. I got a new helmet. It's the Biltwell Lane Splitter. And I mounted the Drift Ghost HD camera on it. And we will uh, just do a little sound check. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, go back home and then I'll show you the helmet. And I'll also show you how I mounted the camera and routed the mic and so forth. Now, I'm on Clyde here, so I normally would wear my fly racing dual sport helmet. But uh, since I've gotten this, I've liked it better because it's more comfortable. And believe it or not, it's actually more ventilated. My fly racing helmet has probably about, uh, I don't know, seven vents at least. And you would think that's really going to channel the air, but this one has only three vents and one exhaust. And as you'll see when I show you the helmet, it's designed so that uh, there's tons of air coming in the front and then a Venturi effect sucks air out the back. And it really works. So much so that right now it's minus three and uh, I'm freezing inside this helmet, I'll tell you. So it's definitely not a cold weather helmet. But, by the same token, in the summer, when you're riding more and you're going off-road and you're working it on some trails, you definitely want that airflow and you'll get it in this one. So I'm going uh, 80, a little over 80 kilometers an hour here, so if there's any wind noise, you would hear it. Hopefully it's decent. The other thing I... Uh, I thought about this helmet uh, in regards to being suitable for dual sport riding is that the uh, visor has nice positive detents to lock it. Uh, well, it just stays in any of the positions that it clicks into. And when you fully open the visor, let's say if you go off-road, you want to open it up and put on what I wear, the motorcycle sunglasses. I like those better than a dirt, uh, a dirt riding goggle because they give me an awful lot more airflow to the face and I'm not interested in protecting myself against roost from other riders in front of me because that's just not the riding I do. So head back home and I'll uh, I'll show you the helmet and how I mounted the camera and routed the mic and all those nice things so I'm going about uh, 95 kilometers an hour now we'll see if there's uh, any wind noise and if so how much I'm talking at I think a normal volume I'm not shouting so we'll see how the mic volume is. Okay, head home here. I'm getting cold. Okay, we just got back and my fingers are cold. So I'm going to slip this helmet off and uh, show you the details and maybe warm my fingers up. Okay, we're sufficiently warmed up here. So there's the helmet and uh, comes with a fancy bag and a manual in case you don't know how to use it. So I think it's pretty styling and it's definitely different and I find quite functional. It's got a nice positive lock there for the visor, which is a good thing. 
when you're wearing it, it's a lot easier to flip that up, by the way. Anyway, it's got, uh, I think I mentioned when I was on the road, nice positive detente there. You want to flip it up to um, eliminate any fog, although I haven't encountered this helmet fogging up yet. And I've been out uh, on some cold days, like today, for instance. So it's got several click settings there and stays up top, which is nice. You know, it doesn't fall back down, you know, if you're off-road and it's uh, bouncing around and stuff. So I told you I'd show you how I mounted the camera and routed the mic. So there is the camera, the Drift Ghost 4K, and it's mounted just on a Drift adhesive mount. Uh, because of the curve of the helmet here and the curve of the mount didn't match, I took some 3M uh, double-sided adhesive of the same type that the mount comes with, cut a little thin strip. You can see I put it in the center just so there's more contact points and there ain't no way that's coming off. And then I put a little safety fishing line tie on there just in case. I always do that. It helps. And the one thing, you know, it's one of the reasons why I like the Drift Ghost 4K or the Drift Line period is this rotating lens. You can rotate that lens any way you want because as you can see, if I show you that end, the camera is mounted on an angle facing this way, but it's also on an angle facing that way. It's not straight up and down. So unless you could rotate the lens, you're going to end up with a slanted horizon. So you can correct that simply by rotating, which is kind of cool. Um, the mic. So <clears throat> this helmet comes with, and I hope you can see that, pockets on both ear ports that you can put uh, communication devices in. What I did was I routed the mic cable, the extra cable in there. And then, can you see it? There's the mic. So it's just uh, wired uh, in back of the cheek pad. Now you can probably see through those vents here in this picture. You can see how open that is. And that's why you're getting so much ventilation on this helmet. You've got those vents and you've got side vents here. And then on the back, you've got the Venturi effect coming. The, the air comes down over here and it creates a little eddy and that helps exhaust the air. And believe me, it really works. You can feel the air just move through this helmet. It's quite something, which is why I think it's good for off-road, for dual sport, you know, on-road, off-road. I like the color. I like the styling. I like the comfort. The uh, dark shield did not come with it. That I purchased separate comes with a clear shield and that was uh, I got a great deal on this helmet because of a, uh, a local store going out of business so I got it for $167 Canadian which is a good price it's half price these helmets are built in California and what they've done is they've DOT rated it, but also they uh, have ECE rated it, which means that anyone in UK, uh, Europe, whatever, you can uh, legally ride with this. So I think that I've just about covered it. I, I don't know if I've missed anything, but if you've got any comments or questions, hit the uh, comment section. If any of you have this helmet, uh, let me know how you like it. 
I personally think that it's the most comfortable helmet I've worn and it's going gonna, it's gonna to suit what I'm going to use it for, I think, really nicely. It's got good vision. Yeah, I like it. Optically correct visor. That's what they say. And definitely you see that when you're riding. It's uh, crystal clear. No distortions or anything. I'm pretty sure it's anti-fog because, like I say, I have tried and uh, it, it just doesn't seem to fog up. So that's good. Anyway, uh, that's about it. I'm glad you came with me on the ride and uh, I will catch you on another one. Cheers.